We sure will, Wes. And Air Quality Awareness Week comes to a close today. So we end with a focus on how air pollution can contribute to human-induced climate change. Meteorologist Lauren Linehan spoke with GASP, the Greater Birmingham Alliance, to stop pollution to learn more about local impacts to all living creatures in central Alabama. Air pollution is such a big problem, particularly air pollution can contribute to climate change. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to our viewers how that is? So a lot of the industries and mobile sources of air pollution also emit what we call greenhouse gases. And greenhouse gases contribute to climate change because it contributes to the way that the atmosphere heats. So you can kind of see how a city that has a large industry with fossil fuels, how that can contribute to climate change. So how can air pollution adversely affect certain communities within a city, like here in the Birmingham area? Well, of course, we know that climate change does affect frontline communities and especially low income and communities of color, which we have a lot of in Birmingham, especially in the North Birmingham area, where our industries have been heavily populated and emitting these fossil fuels and air pollution for decades. So we know that that is looked at through the concept of environmental justice, and that is one of the things that we advocate for environmental justice at GAS. You see this effect where a lot of low income and people of color live near industry. They are experiencing some of the public health concerns related to living near there. And you also see things like the way that their infrastructure, like in the roads and the way that flooding and resiliency to natural disaster contributes to how they are impacted by both air pollution and climate change. So environmental justice is a concept or a framework to really work to center those people and their experiences so that we can make sure that equity exists. And you know, we're talking specifically about humans who are being potentially in underserved communities. What about animals in the ecosystem at large with air pollution? How does that affect them? Well, just that we know that air is everywhere, air pollution is also in that air that is everywhere. And as we're breathing it in, so are the animals and the plants that are around us in our environment. One of the great things about Birmingham and Alabama as a whole is that we have a very rich biodiverse ecosystem within our state. It's one of the most biodiverse ones in the country. And so if air pollution is everywhere, then all of those species are being affected. They're breathing in and taking in this air pollution that is coming through different ways like our land, our water, our soil, and it's just being reproduced in either killing or harming all of these systems that we have in place. And I just learned something new today. I had no idea we had one of the most diverse ecosystems. All the more reason to take care of it. So what are things we can do in the future? I know we talk a lot about almost the doom and gloom of climate change, but what are things we can do to mitigate those impacts? So one thing we can do is gas advocates for regulations that actually protect the environment and protect communities from air pollution. A way that we can address that on our own is to really work to advocate for more sustainable ways of producing energy, re renewable sources like solar and wind. So that can help us to kind of shift the way that we use these types of materials to produce energy and emit into the atmosphere. And if you are interested in volunteering for GAS, then you can contact them on their social media platforms or join their 15th anniversary party. Ooh, that sounds fun. That's next Thursday, May 16th at Cahaba Brewing.